Hello and welcome back. We are standing here outside of our workshop. It is currently night, so we can't see a whole lot, but I have not done a whole lot off camera. I've, well, at least not a lot of construction. I have built this. We'll be getting back to that, but beyond that, did a few contracts, made a trip to the iron mine, another trip to the gold mine. Just kind of a here and there, a few busy, a little bit of busy work. Been working on my drill down there. Probably need more work. Those are filling slowly, but that's way more capacity than what I need, so it's okay if it fills a bit slowly. But today, tonight, this morning, whatever time it is out here, we need to work on something that can get up to orbit. All of our ground side operations are pretty much set. We've got silver, we've got gold. We've got everything we really need down here. To get more stuff, it looks like there was some uranium found in orbit somewhere and possibly some other stuff over on the moon. So we need to get up there and get things organized. But first we need to kind of get up there. So let me, yeah, my wave wasn't working. So I'm going to start off of this. And huh, that's going to be kind of hard. I need a hinge or something to adapt to a smaller grid. Actually, I'll tell you what I can do. Instead of doing that, Add small head. And let's go with a small connector. That way we don't have to adapt we've down later. Let's turn on some lights so you can see a little easier. We're going to do that. And now we can go put ourselves on one of those. Still got access right there, so that's go ahead disconnect these so we're going to start with that well I don't have really any supplies I've got some stuff let me just start with what I've got there going to want or at least I want Oh, it's not going to let me do what I want there. Actually, let me do this instead. Let's do that. Then I can come back and do... rotate the right way. Yes. So I can do that. And we're going to need some other stuff here. Let's go with some gyroscopes. This may be more than what I really need. go with that. Let's see, where's everything else here? Five. Don't need any programmable blocks. Let's 
Let's go with a couple of event controllers. For now. I know I'm going to need at least two. Let's do a pair of timers. I'm going to start with that. I'm most likely going to need more. But that's where I'm going to head for now. Let's put... my remote right there. Put a camera right there. That's not going to give me a very good view. But I think that'll be alright for now. I'm going to need... Well, up here. I'm going to put another one of those, which means my camera. Yeah, it's going to be right there. I might recolor all this later. I'm just kind of laying things out for now. So I've got that camera there. Down here. It's not going to let me reach that. Of course, I put it off center. <laughs> it did it again. I think I got it that time. Looks like I'm going to have to build some kind of pad right here. Or lean this out a little further. I'll figure stuff out as I go. And do I have any laid out? I don't think so. Let's go here. Let's switch up those. For them. Gonna have that there. Going to put one of these on each side. going to put all this on here. That'll be okay as long as that's not connected. I think that's out of the way there. So we've got all that. And this is going to be a pretty barren looking thing. You know, I'm not going to put armor on it, make it look all fancy. I probably could, but... Don't feel like it right now. Let's see, yeah, I'll just stick with that color for now. I 
right, as soon as I can get my rotation right here. That'll work. But I think you guys get the idea of what I'm doing with the legs here. Let me finish putting out the legs. Get some energy. Get more hydrogen, probably. Get this welded up, and I'll be back. Welcome back. The sun is now rising up over the hills, giving us a splendid view of the lake and the surrounding area. And we have also finished up on this. Or mostly finished up, I should say. We still got some programming to do. But that is what I'm probably going to leave this as. Not as pretty as what some other people make, but it should get the job done. I've got lights forward. It's kind of hard to see up underneath there. But I've got some down there. I've got a connector on the front. I've got parachute hatches that do have canvas in them right now. So that is all. It's all there. It's charged up. It's filled up. Other than, like, like I said, other than programming, it is actually kind of ready to go. But let's get this thing set up here. Let me turn that off so it's isolated. I've done some renaming on everything. Got a few groups set up. Let's see. Let's get this going. Let's see. Figure out what I'm trying to do here. We want to turn those on. We want to unlock those. We'll want to turn on those. I think those are off. Let's leave them off. Let's leave those off. Let's turn those on. And let's get back to here. Stockpile off. And our big main thruster turning on. So all of that should launch it. And let's see. What else was I going to do? I think that's it for there. With my main thruster. Let's see, it's off. We're simply going to run it all the way up. So let's get this set up. This will be our let's call this our thrust up. Let's go with speed. Greater or less than. Let's turn this thing off so we don't mess anything up here. Let's change this to 98. 
we're going to select our actions. This will be turning that on. Let's just say it's not really going down, but I think that'll be greater than or equal to 99. So that's fairly tight, but that should pulse our main thruster, our big one on and off and it'll simply have the thrust override on and I did add a third one oops We've got our zero G select actions we're going to turn that off turn that off turn that off groups turn those on and that should do it so we've got that off 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 on. Let's see what this message was. Hold on. Nothing important for now. But that's all set. And I think that right now is it for this let's get off of here oh let me connect that back up we need to name this hinge Just name it that for now. And let me make sure everything's right. That's off. Let's go ahead and turn that. No, let's leave that off because it, that messes it up. Yeah, I think that's all good. We need to name this connector. Oops. I'm going to come back over here, find ourselves a handy timer. I've got two of them right here. actually let's leave it at that gonna turn that down to there 
set up actions. We're going to, let's see, unlock. We'll want that to reverse. I think that's the one we want. Start. Yeah. And then... Oops, let me go. Let's do a reset. Let's leave this, or let's increase this to 20. Probably need to do that on both of these. Then set up actions. This, we're simply going to reverse again. So we've got all that set up. Now the first time, I may not launch it from here, because I kind of want it to go out over the lake. I don't know, I can still, where I say go out, but land over the lake, but I think I can still do that. Let me turn this on so I can get some numbers here. So yeah, that's plenty. About 80, okay. I think I can launch it from here to just move it sideways, come back down. Let's see. Okay, what was I going to do before it got distracted? Oh yeah, button panel. So I guess I'm, I'm going to need that. Let's do that. And for now, I think I am going to set it up th there. Set up buttons. So that should be ready to go. And I probably won't send anything up this time. I'll just send it, get some GPS coordinates, do some looking around. And that's all... I've really been wanting to do for now at least. Now let's see if I can't get this set up.
Okay, I don't know if that's captured or not. In fact, let me save this. Because I do want to try to get this right. So we've got that. That didn't work. Ways and ways. Let's see if this all works. It should be a 10 second. Oh, I screwed up. I didn't turn on. Something didn't turn on there. How about that? Oh, I know I did. I know I screwed up. I screwed up a couple things here. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, I'm going to need that. Ah, it did it again. Or at least it didn't put it on automatic, or the battery on auto. Let's turn that lock back off. I didn't switch it in time. Okay, so I'm going to have to set up those timers a little different then. Okay, let's try this again. Perhaps third time will be the charm. It didn't turn those on. Alright, let me get these timers straightened out and I'll be back. Well, I think I've got it all straightened out now. I ended up switching to using the other timer on the launch module. The button now activates it and it will activate the other two timers along with putting the uh, battery on auto. 
But that should get everything working. I can turn off my headlight now. And I think we are ready to launch. So we can push that. And away it goes. Well, I think we're going to sit back and watch this thing go up. See what happens. And there's the braking thrust. And we are stopped. So that looks like that was a full la launch. Got all the way up and stopped all on its own. I'm going to call that a success. And I think I will leave it here for now. I'm going to poke around, do a few things up here, you know, while I'm in space, set up a GPS point or two. I'll bring this down, and next time, we need to start working on a communications network. Because our first visit needs to be way over there at the moon, and see if we can't find where that other orbot went to. 
But until then, thank you for watching.